Hey guys, welcome back to Jamaica in 5. Today we're driving through Barbican. We're on Barbican Road. And as you can see, it was recently renovated. It's now finished. And it's now a dual carriageway. Two lanes in either direction. Concrete barricade, it has street lights. Um, nice signage on the road. This project was done a few years ago, probably before COVID. And um, this is a very busy road. It leads to a lot of the residential areas in Jamaica, or in Kingston, sorry. And the, the, when the roads were originally built, the areas weren't so developed. So you didn't have that much traffic. But over the years, the areas, more people moved into the areas and the existing road just could not manage all of the traffic. So the government renovated the road and as you can see we have this very nice road now and the traffic flows freely. There are no more delays. The traffic lights control the flow control the flow of traffic and it works well. This is one of many roads in the corporate area that the government has been renovating. Okay, at this intersection, if you turn left, you go up into Russell Heights, and if you go straight, you go, you stay on Barbican Road and head towards Barbican Square. Russell Heights is another neighborhood, um, community, a lot of homes up there. You have Ailsham, you have Acadia, you have but the Barbican area, you have Jacksville, Cherry Gardens, Norbrook, a lot of very large residential areas. Also, you have, now we're heading towards the Barbican Square, where you have more commercial, it's more of a commercial area. You have supermarkets, gas stations, pharmacies, everything that you would need to support such a large residential population. You have a hardware store, you have um, a lot of food places to eat. So Barbican is a very busy area and it's... Okay, at this intersection, if we turn left, we go on to Birdsucker Avenue. And Barbican has um, really improved over the years. As you can see, it's a very nice area. But one of the problems is parking. So there is a fast food restaurant on the left. But there is no, or I shouldn't say there is no parking. There's parking at the back of the building, but persons don't want to park there. So they park and block up the road, as you can see what just happened there. They literally stop in the main road and put on the flashers, as if putting on the flashers makes it okay, but it happens all the time. Okay, we just passed our sugar and spice location on the left, and now we're passing the Texaco gas station. And that turn off at the intersection that takes us up to Jackson. Straight ahead you can see a, um, an apartment building going up and straight ahead again you can see another one. So this is a very busy neighborhood I should say. A lot of construction. This part now is what they call the well, on the right is what they call the Golden Triangle. It's, I think, I think this area is more the Ligony area now. Okay, we're going to turn back around and go back down Barbican Road because that's what we're looking at today, Barbican Road. But a lot of construction activity is going on in this area, and. Further up the road, before we turned, if we had continued going up, we'd go to Millsboro and a lot of construction is going on up there. Okay, so we're back on Barbican Road, heading back towards Bar Barbican Square. Yeah, the intersection we're coming up to now, if we turn right, that would take us up to Jacksville. 
and Drexel is one of the more or it's the second most popular or top neighborhood in Jamaica This intersection now, if we turn left, that would take us on to East King's House Road and East King's House Road would take us on to Hope Road. But we're gonna go straight and stay on Barbican Road. Okay, on the left here is um, the entrance to the Fontana Pharmacy. Also, if we turn left on East King's House Road, we'd come up on um, Barbican Center, which is a uh, it's probably the largest plaza in the Barbican area. It has supermarkets, um, pharmacies, a lot of food restaurants. And the supermarket in that plaza is called La Shushan. Now on the left here is the entrance to the Hilo supermarket. And the Bar Barbican Center now where you have the La Shushan Plaza. The supermarket is the most popular store in that plaza. So most persons just refer to it, refer to it as the La Shushan Plaza. Now on the left here is an open lot. They recently built a drive through clinic to test for COVID. But it's... Um, the persons that own the La Shushan Plaza bought that land. So they are going to extend the plaza right across and onto the open lot and build a new plaza and connect the two plazas you can imagine how much that land was sold for prime real estate and the land is so big that the high low supermarket that we passed is now owned the land is owned by the persons that bought Okay, put it this way, that Hilo supermarket is part of the land that was purchased for the plaza. But I don't think they're going to interfere with the Hilo supermarket because Hilo recently renovated the supermarket and they wouldn't have done that unless they had a lease for many, many years. To spend that kind of money and not have a long-term lease wouldn't make sense. So they're probably just going to extend the, build a new plaza and connect the two and that would be it okay on the right now if we turn right we go into Acadia and that's another residential area now we're heading towards the Grand Spen area at this intersection if we turn left the intersection that we're coming up to if we turn left we're going to Don Robin if we turn right we're going to Grand Spen and that's Grand Spen Main Road if we turn right. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Have a good day.